Hey everybody, welcome back to another review. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel as of late. Uh, as I said in my Priscilla, uh, Priscilla? Yeah, I think her name, uh, Priscilla, I think. Um, the Elvis film that just came out. Elvis Presley film by her, her one of the, his wife. Um, I said in that review that I was doing a double feature, two films back to back. And the other film that I chose to check out today was Anatomy of a Fall. Uh, Forgive me, I forgot the director's name. Uh, I'm not familiar with any of the actors' um, names either. Um, but uh, to set up the film properly, uh, tells the story of a mother and his and his, her son, um, who you know who live with their who live also with, with their father, or husband, and the boy goes off with his dog one day. Uh, take him out for a walk. The boy also being uh, blind, by the way, due to a tragic accident that happened when he was very, very young and quite traumatized from that event as well. Um, what, what happens is the boy comes home and he discovers that his father has has, has been has been uh, is just dead. He finds him in a, in a pool of blood, dead on the floor outside the house. And what's what is birth birth from this is a huge investigation as to who did what did the mother kill the father sort of thing and um and what you get from the film what it's trying to be like what it's trying to be is very different from what it actually is because what it's trying to be is as it seems by its setup is the a whodunit type scenario what we choose to believe because it it delves into court proceedings and you know the judicial system and all that sort of stuff and there's a big emphasis especially towards the end about uh what we choose what we choose to believe and how we take information and um ultimately the truth of the matter is up to you and and that would be i think i think that would be understanding more if it wasn't set up the way it was in the, in the more literal sense because the very first scene of the mother, I can tell you, the very first scene of the mother, I knew right then she was a fucking bitch. I just knew from the very first scene the way that she would just just disregard any questions about her and then just deflect and all that sort of shit. I just knew right then that there that she was at least a, a bitch. At, at least then. I just knew that there was something to her that was just just so snarky and just so just fucking, you know. Because here's what the movie's really about. Uh, the movie really what it is about is full-blown narcissism. Because this character is evil. Absolutely 100% evil. Um, I mean, it's like Amber Heard the movie, you know, to a certain measure. Um, like, if you would have to be, like, if you don't, like, believe that she did like, because it's it's pretty blatant when you watch the film. Like, went by just, like, the the fact that the matter is that she never can answer a yes or no question. It's always a yes, but you know, it's the I will give you my answer, but then I will manipulate said answer. Like, it's just classic narcissism in its truest form. Someone who has no regard, no remorse, no guilt, just finding any way possible to deflect and to put the blame on somebody else especially someone mind you a husband who is going through deep depression deep sorrow because of of having guilt for something that to an extent he is responsible for you know he's actually being a proper man he's actually dealing and processing his emotions where with this bitch she's just fucking throwing it more to this guy and like there's a great great scene where they show off a recording and that recording just puts everything in perspective of to who she is as an, as an individual which is just pure and utter evil and i was grinning because i have dealt with someone like this before and i know exactly the, their tactics you know like they'll try any way possible and when they cannot find their way out they result to getting louder and screaming and in some cases getting getting violent which is exactly what happens in the recording. Um, and because when they cannot get their way, when they cannot manipulate you, when the when the web has been fully uh, untangled and there's no way to keep you in that, in that sphere anymore, 
they find they result to you know all that sort of stuff um so um and um and i think that ultimately that that does create issues with like with, with the film in general because as i said i don't think the movie itself is fully recognizing of such a thing i think that it acknowledges it but ultimately it's trying to play in that field of oh well it's up to you it's it's your belief you know you choose what you wish to see, wish to hear and how you interpret that you know it's like it's it it plays to you know the title anatomy of fall it's meant to kind of it's 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 they're trying to play up the circumstantial and the and the you know just the basis of choices you know what you choose to believe you know and that ultimately reigns a little hollow what to what really is about a study of narcissism um and to that end you know what you get is a performance and a a uh a momentum that is very very investing like i just found myself completely involved in the court in the court proceeding and the court like just the whole like exchanges like the way that um the camera moves around sometimes like getting all jittery and stuff like deliberately um i was just really fucking involved you know i found myself really really engulfed into the situation uh like passionately i was finding myself just like like, like, it felt like I was actually, like, this is a great compliment. Like, it really felt like I was watching a court, you know, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a court, you know, a, a, a trial happening, an actual trial happening, you know, um, you know, because of the little things here and there, like just the, just the, 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 the differences between, you know, certain people, like how they're sticking with the facts and how one gets all emotional and how one does this and then talks on end and, the the subtleties that that build you know like it's it all feels authentic you know it all feels real and um hey guys uh before we get down to the review i just wanted to clarify on one point that i made um i stated that uh that i thought the film bared uh loads of realism and i do stand by that point but i just wanted to also bring up one point in the film of which I feel that that point that I made was a bit exaggerated um which was that the the very last scene of the film more one of the last scenes in the film when the kid does his speech and then what follows I think that that's obviously dramatic dramatized mm. that's obviously not real obviously in a real courtroom and just with you know with jury, you know, hearing all that, especially seeing how the jury was throughout the film, and then just all of a sudden, you know, changing their minds. That's just movie logic. That's not real life logic, you know. So, because in reality, that bitch should should be behind bars, you know, and probably would 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 have been. But because it's the it's a movie, she ends up walking out free. So, you know, so just wanted to put this in the front because, um, you know. I kind of exaggerated that point a little bit, so, so, but yeah, but other than that, hope you enjoy the review. And you get a lead performance that, you know, which, again, I, I don't know if they're understanding of their character, if they're just playing the victim, the card, which is what a narcissist would ultimately try to do, um, but, um, but, uh, but in knowing really what her character is, I mean, just in general with that performance, it's really good. Like, she is playing that, um, again, playing up that narcissism, playing up that ignorance. She does it so brilliantly, or so well. I wouldn't say brilliantly. She did it really, really well. Um, uh, that you just, you just find yourself, like, just hating her. And I think that it's, in, it's important to hate the character. Because in hating the character, I think you're actually really understanding the character. If you're not really hating the character, then I think that you're not really understanding the story itself. And that performance might not seem as um, as uh, as solid or as interesting. It might just seem a certain way. But if you are realistic and you are just using your head and you see through her and you see who she really is, you'll see the nuances, you'll see the layers of her performance, and you'll see really a really great performance being put forth um albeit like i said i don't know if she herself is fully understanding of what she's doing 
uh, but just the work being put forth is really, really good. Um, if, if you're viewing this from a realistic point of view and just looking at it face at face value, just using, you know, common sense. Um, cause ultimately what, what the film boils down to is a tragedy. Like the way that this film ends, like I'll, I'm not gonna get personal, but it's like, I, I was crying with the kid because I have been in that position before with like trying to understand a family situation and like, it is true in that it, within the kid that it, there comes a choice where you do have to choose, you know. My thing is is that the choice that the kids make the kid makes, which I won't spoil, is just so fucking tragic, you know. And a part of me wonders, oh shit! A part of me wonders like the the reasoning behind it, but and, and they do show you, and it's sad. It's really fucking sad because you see like him like trying so hard to make sense of the situation. But him being a kid, obviously, he can't rationalize and understand these complex ideas. It's it's really sad. It ends up being a tragedy. And um, and the, the, like the, the, the problem that I have with it is that I just don't think that the film understands its, it, itself really into a certain measure. Um, but, you know, taking it in with the, with the understanding that I have of it, I thought it was very, very investing, very intriguing, very involving. Um, I thought acted really well. I thought everybody just in general did really well. Um, uh, the pacing is great. I love the delivery and overall tone and just the dialogue in general. It feels like it, it feels at times like a transcript like it doesn't it feels like it just was ripped from an actual like trial um like you know like there is a dramatic you know edge to it obviously but it feels it, it feels all in the sense of, of reality you know it doesn't feel like we're moving into something that feels like oh okay they're kind of playing this up sort of thing it all feels it all feels representative it all feels like it is you know, that of reality itself, you know, um, like I, I felt like I was watching a trial play out and that's a very high compliment, you know? So, um, I just think that the issues stem from the, the, you know, just the, uh, just the overall understanding of it, of its, of its own identity, which I think is questionable at best. Because it is a film about narcissism, plain and simple. And I know I say, I say that a lot, but really, like, like Tar was that, and this is also that. You know, these are studies of narcissism. These are studies of evil, evil people who have no remorse and have no uh, sense of guilt. You know, they are driven only by themselves, only by what they want. Um, and, like, nothing was more clear to me than... I mean, the opening scene just showed me how much of a bitch she is, but, like, other scenes in general just showed me, like, it's it's just classic, you know, in by, in traits and in behavior. Like, she's, like, crying because she no longer has control over something. Um, she's always talking about, like, it has to be, uh, like, like, her way, you know? It's like, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to do that, you know? Like, I don't want this, this, that. She talks about at one point, like, how does this feel? Is this what it feels like to win? You know, like, like these are things that that she is more concerned with. She's not concerned with the fact that uh, that she caused all these issues and that she's projecting onto somebody. She's not concerned with what her actions might do to somebody. You know, she's more concerned about herself, her own well-being, and only her, and not anybody else. She can give a shit about her kids, as long as her kids are, you know, like, as long as her kids are, you know, jiving with her, and just, she could just, you know, like she said, just mystify, like, create, let him be a child, basically manipulate this motherfucker, like, you know, like, as long as it's her way, then it's okay. <laughs> so, um, like that's that's basically to summarize the character and um i you know basing it on how what it is like really what it is i thought it was pretty good um but 
if I if I were stupid and ignorant, I would probably think that eh, it's fine. But really viewing it for what it really is as a study of narcissism and just the overall delivery and the performances and everything else that's wrapped around it, I found it to be very involving and found it to be very, very, uh, very, uh, um, you know, just very, very, uh, just, just good. <laughs> just, just a very, very good piece. Um, and like I said, like, the authenticity, the realism, it's really packed in there. And I'm glad that it's it's as present as it is. And yeah, like what a what a fucking bitch. <laughs> so very curious to know how people interpret this movie. Cause I don't know how you how you look at this in any other way. I mean, it is absolutely about a narcissist and their efforts to try to uh to keep this belief a reality so they even say it and and i I think that to some measure the film knows this because it's like at one point there's even a great line where they say trying to trying to uh keep fantasy from becoming reality and ultimately what the movie is about is presenting how that is the opposite to that or really you know presenting that statement but within her within her 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 like to her you know um so um but but yeah so i think that like i said i don't know if it really knows of itself i want to say it it does um but i have my doubts but but other than that really enjoyed myself so so yeah so those are my thoughts on anatomy of a fall i thought it was pretty good uh pretty pretty good especially the performances and uh, like the kid was the kid was so good too i i was crying i i felt really bad for that kid um i was that kid <laughs> so um but um but uh but yeah i i really enjoyed it so um you guys want to hear your thoughts on anatomy of fall if you guys have seen it uh let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and that's gonna be it for me guys thank you guys for tuning in and until then i'll catch you guys in the next video